Tutorial Video 8 – Communication via Modbus Now we will discuss communication via Modbus. The TM Cobot is capable of different types of communication. TCP socket communication, RS-232 serial communication, Modbus TCP, and Modbus RTU. Each of these communication protocols allow the TM Cobot to communicate with many external devices such as Omron NJ or NX PLCs, Robotique grippers, and shop floor communication systems. For the rest of this video, we will focus on using Modbus TCP communication in TMflow. Imagine a situation where the cobot has been emergency stopped in the middle of a project, and it has to return to a designated home position before it can resume operations. If we were to move the cobot in a linear fashion, it will collide with this blue bin on its way to the home position. You can see how expensive this collision could be if this were something besides a blue bin. One way to avoid this situation is with the use of Modbus communication. With Modbus, we can get the tool center point's current position on the Z axis, then use it to calculate how far up it needs to move before it can safely return to the home position. Let's get started. Setting up Modbus application. To set up Modbus in TMflow, go to Settings, then Modbus. There are two communication protocols that Modbus can use, TCP or RTU. TCP is for Ethernet communication through IP addresses, and RTU is for serial communication. For this video, we will only demonstrate Modbus functionality using TCP. If necessary, Use the IP filter to limit the number of devices available to communicate with the cobot via Modbus. Click Enable to enable Modbus TCP communication. Note that only one method of Modbus communication may be enabled at a time. This code table shows the digital and register input and output signals and their respective addresses and function codes. For this video's application, we will need addresses 7053, and 7054, which make up the Cartesian Z coordinate of the tool center point on the Cobot base. Now that Modbus is enabled, we can begin assigning Modbus signals. First, open the project, click on the Project Function menu in the top right corner, and then click Modbus Dev. In this menu, we can add TCP or RTU Modbus enabled devices. The TM Cobot is set up by default with the name localhost and uses the Modbus TCP protocol. This is the Cobot's local IP address assigned to the Modbus port 502. To set up Modbus signals, click on Add Setting. Now we will assign a signal name for the Z coordinate of TCP called TCPZ. Slave ID 1 refers to the Cobot's Modbus slave ID. For the Z coordinate of the tool, the signal type is a register input with a 2 byte address starting at 7053. The data type is float and the data order is ABCD, also known as Big Endian. This information can be found in the code table in the Modbus settings menu. Next, we need to initialize three floating point variables. The first one, which we will name pause Z, will be given the value of the Modbus signal that we just created. The second float variable, which we will call home Z, is the safe height that the cobot needs to reach before it can move to the home position. For this application, the safe height is 250 millimeters above the cobot base. Finally, the third variable, called difference Z, will be the difference between the safe height and the Z coordinate that we obtain with Modbus. Now that we have initialized our variables, we can use a set node to assign values to them.
On the left side of the expression editor, select the pause Z variable. Click the drop down box and select the assign operator, the equals sign. On the right side of the expression editor, select the Modbus tab. We will use the Modbus read function and the localhost device. Select the TCP Z signal that we defined earlier and click Insert. Now we can add that first expression and then get started on the next one. On the left side, select the difference Z variable. Select the assign operator. On the right side, enter the safe height subtracted from the Modbus value. Add the expression and click OK. Finally, we can add a move node that will move the tool center point along the Z axis using the difference Z variable. Here is what our application looks like. Now let's discuss NX to Omron PLC Modbus communication. Modbus is an excellent communication tool for external controllers, such as the Omron NJ and NX PLCs. Here is an example of the Omron NX controller using Modbus through a SysMac interface to turn the camera module light on and off. When the green button is pressed, the light turns on. When the yellow button is pressed, the light turns off. This concludes video 8 of the Omron TM series tutorials. Thanks for watching.